fellow fun flyers. Dan Johnson here to talk about, well, seaplanes and something called single lever control. Our focus this time is on the Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray because it's kind of the test article for this idea. Here's a man who embraces that airplane, a famous author you know, and he's written another book called Travels with Puff, his name for his own Sea Ray. The Rotax engine is a part of this as well, but the company that has really led the effort is someone called RS Aerotech, and they have joined together with Rotax, with Progressive Aerodyne and their Sea Ray, and MT Props to investigate the value of single lever control on light sport aircraft. Current regulation doesn't allow that, but we believe FAA's new regulation will allow it because there's a strong safety argument and because it stays within FAA's safe, simple, and easy to fly mantra. A single lever control using electronic information from the engine as well as atmospheric conditions knows where to put the prop in pitch. So when you're on the water and you're getting ready to take off and every seaplane wants to leave the water as quickly as possible because bouncing along on waves can be hard on an airframe, much like you want to get out of a short field quickly. And when you want these things, you need a climb prop. But then up at altitude, when you retard the throttle and want a little better fuel economy and yet want to cruise at the highest speed, well, now you need a cruise prop. This very interesting development, and I think we're going to see more of these developments, allows the pilot to merely position the throttle where they need it and the system optimizes the correct pitch so the pilot doesn't have additional workload to adjust prop control levers according to manifold pressure and other things that some sport pilots may not know about. Here they get the benefit of all of that in an easy to operate system that is being deeply investigated by RS Aerotech. I think we're going to see more of this and in fact I think we'll see more airplanes embrace this idea if FAA brings it out in the regulation as currently expected. Stay tuned for much more about what's happening in new regulations. And meanwhile, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it.